Yeah, look, look it, it is a really interesting dynamic, isn't it, Tom? I mean, we know, you know as, as Anthony Albanese said, he came to, came to Parliament to um, to fight Tories, but he really hates Greens. And he's been fighting Greens as long as he's been fighting Tories in his electorate of grain. Yeah, hand think, out there as he walks Yeah, and I think there's a little bit of the old the old warrior versus the young. I mean, Chandler Mather is a, is a young ideologue um, who's not really interested in an outcome. He wants a fight. And... Uh, and uh, I think that they've sort of got under the government's skin a bit here. And uh, you can see from there, it's, it, there's no love lost between any of them. Labor, basically, if the Coalition opposes something, Labor have to have the Greens yes. support. Yes, yeah, so... so it's an important um, partner for them. Mm. Have relations soured well, def- overall? Yeah, look, it's, I think it's always been this passive-aggressive thing between Labor and the Greens in this parliament. And we saw in the first year the government came in, had a huge momentum, had a big... You know, they had a big policy agenda and the Greens were very acquiescent. I mean, they, you know, they sort of did the right thing, I think, on climate, you know, rather than sort of hold out for the impossible and repeat what they did in 2009. They accepted the government's mandate. They went through the motions of trying to make some changes, um, but then ultimately they waved it through. I think on this bill they've decided that that's, we're not doing that anymore. Mm. We're going to stand and fight. You've got to remember they, they are competing against Labor as Labor is competing against the Coalition. They want their inner city seats. They've yeah. got now four of them. Uh, they want more. Uh, this is them attacking from the left, um, putting Albanese... I mean, it's so, as Jason and Claire, I said in Parliament yesterday... Yeah, Kermit the Frog was wrong. It is easy being green because you just make you just make these huge silly demands, and that the government has no 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 ability to to deliver on, and it just makes you more popular with, with with the sort of angry constituency which is sort of flocking to your side. In this case, the renters, the renters, mm. younger people yeah. closer to the cities, mm. and this is what the Greens are saying: let's have a rental freeze mm. nationally. Yeah. Labor's saying it's a state issue. In some states are going down the path and others Some are looking at... Well, Victoria's looking at a cap. They've got one here in the ACT. I don't think it's had much effect, to be honest, because it still costs a fortune to rent here. Um, But, uh, yeah, Chris Min said yesterday, not stupid, we're not doing it. It hasn't worked overseas. just causes rents to rise. And, and, you know, landlords are already facing, you know, massive state taxes, massive interest rate rises, you know, increasing conditions, rental conditions. It just it will just give up and sell the houses and you mm. actually you get the opposite of what you want. So, look, it's even, for, even if the, it's not Labor that, wanted to do this, it wouldn't really be doable, well, They would be able to do it anyhow. Yeah. But, look, it's a case of ever shifting the gold posts for the Greens. I mean, they sort of asked for $5 billion a year to be spent on housing. Then they halved that to two and a half and claimed they'd made a major concession. I mean, that's sort of like saying, we demand you build a moon base... You know, on Jupiter, OK, make it Mercury instead. Both both sort of undeliverable for the government. Mm. Um, and then paint that as some sort of climb down. So, you know, they're very clever. Chandler Mather is, is he's quite, he's quite, he's articulate, he's smart, he knows what he's doing and he's driving them mad. And uh, yeah. I think they may have overreached this week. That seems okay. to be a view. But um, just... And the, the electoral battle is a really interesting one because we spoke about the demographic close to the cities. We saw in south-east Queensland they made ground which I think surprised yep. a lot of election watchers. Three seats. They've got one in Melbourne, mm. but a lot are really close. Mm. They're not even in the 2PP, but a slight shift mm. if they can get ahead of the Liberal Party. There are multiple seats they could win there, yeah. and even Sydney and Anthony Albanese's seat, not while he has it, no. but if he relinquishes it one day. So this well, is... Right. The, He's been fighting them in Grandland for this years. This is the existential... Yeah. Um, Threat. Like we the saw the teals yeah, happen. Yeah. This is the Labor's yeah. teals. Right? Yeah, Labor's teals, and, and you know this has been building for a lot longer than the teal threat has been building against the it's coalition. It's less about Morrison and a, a moment yeah. in time. It's more yeah. a gradual. Yeah, sort of but thing. but that they now have they now have a real traction about them, the Greens, and uh, precipitated primarily by the housing and rental crisis. All right, DD nuclear threat, double dissolution. Cuts. The, 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 pro- the Greens in the Senate, but it's hard to see it. Look, the Prime Minister doesn't has no intention of having a double dissolution election at this stage, but he 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 wants a trigger. Um, this will give him a trigger if they they reject uh, you know voting on this bill or whatever a second time. What they did this week does constitute a failure to pass in the government's view. Uh, so watch this space if the if the government withdraws this bill, Tom, from the Senate between mm. now and October and reintroduces it into the House of Reps because that's what they have to do to get the trigger. You've got to actually put it back through the whole process and put it back before the Senate. That means they're, they're definitely looking for a trigger. And look, if, Just keep a trigger in the... Well, look, you know, you've got the voice referendum coming up, the economy's going pear-shaped. You, you, you want options, you know? You, you, it's, it's good to have options, even if you don't intend to use it. Good advice in life in general. It is, mate. Phil Curry, thank you. <laughs> so-